Hell yeah, what's up guys? This is Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action today. I'm going to show you how to separate your audio tracks when you record them so your voice is separate from the background music at the point of recording. And then I'm going to show you how to split them up inside Hit Film Express so that you can adjust them separately. Why am I doing this? First off, one, we're doing a series here that's geared towards new YouTubers. Gamers that are just getting started and you don't want to pay huge money for like something like Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects or some expensive video editor. And you also don't want to pay money for video capture software as well. We're going to do this using only free tools and it's going to be awesome. So let's get going. You'll see here I'm inside Valheim and Presto. Cool. The first step is we want to record the game footage. So I'm going to be doing this using NVIDIA Shadowplay. This is free software that comes with any recent, relatively recent, um, NVIDIA graphic card. And to access your recording screen, I'm going to hold down Alt and Z. And when I do that, you're going to see here we get the GeForce experience. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. But what we want to do right now to split the audio tracks is click on this little gear icon. When you open that gear icon, go down to the bottom. And they've made it nice and simple now. It didn't used to be this simple. But you'll see an option. Create a single track, which is what we don't want to do. And the reason why is because if your background music and your voice are on the same track, you can only increase or decrease the combined total. So if your voice is too loud or the background music is way too friggin' loud, like it's often the case, and you can't and you, and you want to make an adjustment but turn your voice up or down, you can't do it unless you create separate bo uh, separate tracks. So left click on that, make sure that it's selected green. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do some recording so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to left click here on record and you'll notice here that it's also got the hotkey of Alt F9. So I'm going to left click on that and it's going to go green. There we go. It's green and we are recording. So what we're doing is we're basically recording the background music and the background mob noises and all that other stuff separate from me talking to you as we do this. So I'm just going to punch a pig in the head. Oh, you like that you silly boar? Yeah, you like that? Let's kick this. Let's All right, guys, every once in a while, you got to do some hand-to-hand hand -hand combat with a nice little pig, right? Who hasn't wanted a punch a pig in the face? All right, cool. All right, we got some nice piggy footage there. Okay, so I'm going to hit Alt-Z again. That's going to load up the GeForce experience, and then I'm going to left-click on Record, and I'm going to stop it and save it. This is going to save it to my drive. All right, we are on our way. I'm going to hit Escape to get out of that. And then I'm going to escape out of this game, left click on quit, quit the game. Now, as the, I slowly quit the game here, I guess it's a little slow, you'll see here that I have Hit Film Express already open, ready to go. The next step, if you're following along with me, is you want to go to where you recorded the footage. So I've got a folder here, and it's called Valheim. And this is the last video that I did. So this is the one that you just saw me record. I'm going to left click on it, drag and drop it into the media folder here. And now it gets a little tricky and it actually can throw you off a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and again, drag it onto the timeline. And now you're going to see here that we've got the footage loaded into the timeline. It's like 35 seconds or something like that. I'm going to hit the play button here and you're going to see an issue. And then I'm going to show you how we solve it. Yes. There is no microphone, right? That's what you're thinking. Hey, you recorded it and I heard you talking. Why can't I hear that? And the reason why is Hit Film Express really only works with one audio, even though NVIDIA does it correctly and they separate it into separate audio tracks. If you use Adobe Premiere Pro, for example, you won't bump into this problem. They fix it automatically and they separate the tracks, but Adobe Premiere Pro is like 40 bucks or 60 bucks a month or something like that. So yeah, we're using free tools for now, especially for the new people. So let's take a little deeper look in here. You're going to see here that this is the waveform. So I'm just going to zip in here. And as I do that, you'll see here, this is the waveform. This is the background music. Now, if I go and I right click on this here, you're going to see at the bottom, when you right click, you're going to see properties. When I open up properties, here we go. There's audio one, system sounds under audio. But if I click that little down chevron, you're going to see audio two, microphone. And when I do that, this is where it gets weird. Now listen to this. I go green, there we go, it's green, and we are recording. 
that's what we recorded when we were doing it right there so by default hit film express doesn't separate out the tracks it, it's not smart enough or alternatively they make you pay for it <laughs> i haven't checked into that yet but we can do this for free and i'm going to show you the workaround what you want to do here to get both the audio tracks on here is we're going to go we're going to right click on the audio or on the video here and i'm going to right clicking and you're going to see that i have the option to duplicate when you duplicate this now we've got two videos and we can put them both on top of each other and we can have one set to the microphone and we can have one set to the background music and the mob music and stuff like that so that's the trick so i'm going to delete this one off the i'm just going to go ahead and right click on this and clear it so i guess yeah what do they use what do they use cut ah whatever okay i'm going to go ahead and drop the top one in here then i'm going to go ahead and drop the other one on top of it so we've got both tracks here now let's go ahead and dig in a little further by default and you can look here at the waveform they're both the same audio so what we want to do I'm just gonna oops I don't want to do that what we want to do is we want to set one of them to the background music and one of them to the voice so let's see what we got here I go green there okay so we got the voice as you can hear so one of them let's go with this one first step I'm gonna right click on it and I'm going to unlink them because I don't want them linked up the second thing I'm gonna do and you'll see here that I've clicked on the audio again I'm gonna right click on it and now we're gonna go back into properties and instead of saying audio 2 we're gonna switch it to audio 1 system sounds left click on OK now you'll see that the waveforms are different and if I hit spacebar we're gonna have both the background music and my voice watch this I go green there we go it's green and we are recording so what we're doing is there we're basically we go you can hear me squeaking through the woods now the reason why we did this is because now we can adjust the background audio or the voice to go up or down increase decrease in how loud it is just by going in and making adjustments to it so if I was to go let's see where do they keep the audio stuff we would well I will do that in another video but you can move this line for example if you move the line up it increases or decreases the audio so you'll see here like if I move this up that means it's gonna go up 8 decibels if I move this up or move this one down for example it's gonna go down minus 22.67 decibels so this is a real quick and easy way to adjust the audio but again you would want to go in and we can go through the details of that the last step here that I recommend is I'm gonna go ahead and remember when I unlinked it earlier the reason why I unlinked it because this one if I delete this if I just go ahead and just go ahead and cut it we've now got a single video so we got a single video track and two separate audio tracks now we just go up here to file or where did they got to export to file and off we go I would put this one on in here and this would be audio two tracks Valheim I would hit save and then you'll see here that under the export window it's gonna go ahead and load up it's starting the progress and this is how you go ahead and separate tracks and have professional audio with 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 both of them separated out without spending a single dollar on software that's it for this video guys I know it's a little long-winded and I know why you haven't heard me lately and that's because I've been out with COVID but I'm back in business we're back in action I got a ton more stuff coming up stay tuned <coughs> excuse me stay tuned thanks for watching